Hi everyone. So this video is going to be shot in like several segments, but this is the first segment. What I'm doing here is I'm just showing you our zipper packs that we made up. These are our Yoda packs. This is five yards of, this is uh, white with antique tape. And then inside we have 15 antique uh, Yoda pulls. And then this is the black with antique and 15 antique pulls. Uh, I don't have the price list on me right now, but that's okay. You have to come in my group to buy it anyway, where it will be priced. There's nickel, there's rainbow, there's all six colors of teeth for the tape. And then we are, this is the last of the packs of pulls. They're all in packs of six. We have the rose gold Yoda here. Um, here is antique bronze Yoda. This is Nickel Jack. Different variety there. And then over here, here's our three yard packs. And our three yard packs, they contain nine pulls in them. Okay. Oops, that one's unzipped for some reason. So that's what we're doing right now. We're taking pictures of these so we can put them on the group thing. We waited till today only because we figured people were doing Halloween parties and such. And this was probably the best day for everything to transpire. Look, here's the Rainbow Jack with the um, Rainbow Jack poles. There's the Rainbow Jack poles and there's the black. We call these the Jack Packs. How beautiful are they? And they're three yards with nine poles in each. Already packaged up for you. Okay? So that is just our packages like that. And our zipper poles. All right, and we're going to, this is, like I said, going to be in segments. So here we go with this. All right, we'll be back. Next up is our single zipper tapes. We just have these broke down into three and five yard individual packs. We have, again, every color, the six different zipper teeth which are rainbow, rose gold, gold, gunmetal, nickel, and antique bronze. I always forget, but there's six different. And, of course, we have, just to show you the assortment, and then we have this massive box filled to the brim. I mean, it's a deep box, and it's full. You, I mean, you can't get another thing in. So, there is that, and we shall be back with the next order of business. Thank you much. We also have these beautiful rolls of faux leather slash vinyl. Everybody calls them something different. I call them faux leather. Vegan leather, you know me, animal lover. Um, we have a wide variety. I do have more. This is just what we have cut right now. And I do want to say that I am not a professional uh, roll cutter. They are guaranteed to be 12 inches wide. Um, that's this way. And they're guaranteed. Most of them are 36 inches. A lot are more. But some are 32 or 33 like that one there, for example. That was a different bolt. Um, not bolt. Roll of... Um, not. It wasn't a bolt. It was a roll of leather. And it cut different for some reason. So, well, it didn't cut different for some reason. It was just a different measurement. So, as you can see, I have two great big boxes stuffed with, and I'll get a count, and that'll be on the group. And the next thing is the fabric that I have, and then I am going to go live with this sale. All right, guys, coming at you soon. Okay, this is one of my first fabrics. This is absolutely beautiful. Studio E Panda Sanctuary Stack Pandas. Now, I didn't think I was going to like this, but when it came, I can't even describe the feel of this fabric. It is to die for. Um, all, all this fabric, I all that I carry is quilt cottons. Only quilt shops and specialty shops can get their hands on these fabrics. You're not going to find them in your big box stores ever. 
Um, all my fabrics are exactly um, specialty shop fabrics. Quilt cottons, 100% all the way. Um, I do have other stuff. I have um, like flannels. I have interfacing. I have all kinds of stuff. But this is my main... Um, what do I want to call it? My main, my main, my star, the star of my show. Let's say that it's the star of my group. It's what I sell the most of. Now I do have yardage left of this. I ordered two bolts, um, because I figured it would be popular and it is just to die for. I actually kept a couple of yards for myself. And I also want to show you, um, for my bag makers out there, I want to, sh these are already the pre-cut rolls that we've done. Look at this with this gorgeous lime. I call it frog skin because it looks like frog skin to me. You could pair this up with this beautiful lime to bring out the bamboo and the bamboo shoots in this fabric. And look at this gorgeous, what I'm calling gum metal. Oh my gosh, will you look at that? And this is a beautiful bone. I mean, you can use all three of them to make a gorgeous bag, like think handles, accents, main body, whatever, however. And then we have, of course, the gunmetal on white, and we also have the gunmetal on black. Do I have that handy? Of course, we also have the nickel. I mean, you could go nickel route, too. I mean, either or, beautiful. But I mean... You could put a beautiful bag together. The only thing is I, we only have at this moment the Yoda and the um, Jack zipper pulls. So that wouldn't work with this panda. But you can get you everything you need with the exception of the pulls at this point right here from Bolts Bags, Fabric Sales, and Pre-Orders. So there you go. Um, yeah, you can make some beautiful bags. So we do have um, pack pre-packs of yardage available. As you can see, all we got to do is pull, weigh, pull, pack, and weigh your orders, okay? So there's our stack pandas from Panda Sanctuary Studio E. That's fabric number one. All different ones. <sighs> Here we have our gorgeous poppies and papillion line. I cannot wait myself to make a bag out of this. This one right here is my favorite to die for. Absolutely love it. And look at that with my gunmetal leather. Oh my God. I'm crazy over it. But look at this. This is our nice marine blue we have. Well, it's actually like a, I don't know, more like a cobalt. I don't know what color it is. But there's a teal. There's that froggy green. There's our bone. And uh, let's see. Even like this one. I mean... We have a lot of leathers that would go beautiful with this line. Look at this. Could really make a nice bag. I think this green would look best with this one. Look how that just sets that right off. That beautiful, like, turquoise and that green to die for. And this black, this gunmetal is perfect for this bag. I mean, just, you can really, really set these off. Just beautiful. And again, don't forget our matching zipper tape that can go with your bags. So again, as you can see, with the exception of the zipper pulls, we can be a one-stop shop for all your bag making needs. We do have pre-packs of SF-101. We're limited on that, though. We have four four-yard packages of that available for retail during this sale we are probably going to get more of that in but right now all we have is that so yeah look at the bag possibilities we got going on here absolutely gorgeous again this is the poppies and papillion line this is spring's tradition again high quality gorgeous fabrics um quilt shop that's all we carry in our shop thanks so much for looking we have a lot more coming stay tuned This is Studio E Fancy Cats line. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, would make gorgeous bags. Um, I will tell you this. Studio E is the company that you have to order months in advance. And once they lay out the... Um, once they give you, you have to order months in advance and then they discontinue the print. So what's ordered is ordered. If you don't get it, you don't get it. 
So, no, wait, I lie. That's three wishes. Never mind. Ignore me while I'm talking. That's three wishes. But I can tell you for sure, this these prints I can't find. I went on back to my supplier. They're gone. I went to Studio E. They're gone. These three specific prints you cannot get. So what I have, I have to sell. But um, this is actually Mayan. The ones in packages are for retail. Um, but my cat prints are back in my sewing room right now. But this is mine unpackaged. This is not for resale. Everything that's for resale is packaged and, you know, sealed up. Um, you can't find these anywhere. So what I have is what's available. If you find any anywhere else, I say congrats because it's, I don't know. I couldn't find any. I looked because I was actually going to order at least one more bolt of each. But. I will show you, like, you could pair this up with the green to accent. You could pair this up with the white to accent. Um, and I will show you this. Check it, check it out. Look at this with the rainbow zipper. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, I mean, I know there's bag makers that don't use leather. They make just regular project bags. So maybe you only use zippers or maybe you only make pouches. And it's beautiful with just the rainbow tape. I mean, gorgeous. So yeah, there's your Studio E um, pack cats, fancy cats, excuse me, fancy cats. So I have the green paws, I'm calling it, the toss cats, and the stack cats is what I'm calling them. I don't know their official names, but that's what I'm saying they are. Um, and I do have limited in these, so there you go. All right. Here's our Henry Glass Timber Nomies. Oops, uh, camera's wrong. Sorry, guys. So here I have Nomi Stripe. Here I have um, Character Toss. And here I have the Red Plaid. That's all I have for now is these three prints. I do have prints coming. Uh, they are supposed to come within the next week or so, hopefully soon. I don't know what retail I'll have on those, but I do have some of these left. I had four prints and one of the prints is like gone. Um, and I have very limited of these. So here is the Timber Nomies. I, these gnomes are absolutely to die for. I absolutely love them. Here's up close to the Nomies. And the snowman and the bear. So stinking cute. Look at the moose. <laughs> I love them, Laura. Look at the moose. All right, guys. Timber Nomies. This is a beautiful. I can't even describe the feel of this fabric. I forget what the weight is on this. It is a camo cotton twill. It is perfect for backpacks. Um, what would you say, Chucky? You're a hunter. I mean, it wouldn't have to be used for that. You can make bags out of it, whatever you want. But I mean, you could make a beautiful bag with this. Like, but it, I just can't even describe the feel. I guess you could make pants and stuff out of it. I don't know what people use twill for, but it was actually a mistake fabric and I absolutely love it. I have not gotten to make anything with it yet, but look, I mean, this gunmetal and this beautiful gunmetal on gunmetal is absolutely gorgeous to go with this. And it is gunmetal. If I take it close, you can see it's gunmetal teeth on black. And I'm calling this uh, vinyl gunmetal because I think that's what it looks like. So yeah, how beautiful is that for a bag? And that is our camo twill. And again, this is mine. Uh... Anything that we are selling is packaged. Okay. So there you go. That's our beautiful camo twill. Nice heavyweight, beautiful cotton twill. This is a beautiful, I guess they're cabbage rose, uh, duck cloth. Perfect. Absolutely perfect for bag making. I would definitely, again, I keep going back to that green. I just love it. I can't help myself. And for this, I would probably go, and this is always my favorite, um, I love my nickel and white, or my, excuse me, my gum metal and white, and that matches the center of this and brings that out. So yeah, if you want to make a bag with that, or of course, if you just want to make a bag for a project bag, you wouldn't need the leather, but yeah, 
um, absolutely beautiful weight duck cloth uh, cabbage rose. Again, I think it is. I'm not much into flowers, but look at that. Absolute perfection with this. Beautiful. I do have an orange, but it has dandelions on it, which you'll see in the when I showed my rolls of leather, our rolls of leather. Chucky and I worked really hard to make these rolls up. So, yeah, there is our beautiful duck cloth. And I think we have, what, one more, right? Yeah, the dogs, they're just acting crazy. You'll have to forgive us for our children acting screwy. The deer are probably running out back, and that's what you're hear that they're hearing and smelling, so they act silly. But there you go, Ca uh, beautiful duck cloth also in this sale. All right. We did manage to get some NFL in. We had an order for the Steelers, and the it is in Thor and Mickey. I don't know who is Steelers fan and who isn't, but there you go. We have, um, this is a four-yard cut, but I'll break it down. Two yards, three yards, one, however, whatever. And we have four individual packs of the Mickey. That I do know. So, five. Oh, yeah, five. You're right, Chucky. We have five individual packs of the Mickey, and this is a four-yard cut. Again, I'll break it down. However, whatever. It was an order that never got taken care of, so... It is a solid four yards, and again, I'll break it down, however. So, here's the deal while we look at the Steelers, um, and I'll just skim over, like, there's the rolls and all that good stuff. Um, the sale will be on in our group only. Um, I'm going to run it 24 hours. Once I send invoicing, you'll have 24 hours to pay, or your order will be canceled. Um... 15% off up to $150, 150 or more, 20% off. And this is a post Halloween slash, thank you so much, 500 plus members from Chucky and I at Bolts Bags Fabric Sales and Pre-Orders. We want to thank everybody for um, the success of our group, the continued support, and we are just so grateful, so blessed, and we just want to pay it back and give you an awesome sale. We worked really hard to put this retail together, and we hope that it's a success for you guys too, and we're going to set make it live as soon as this video uploads, and I load the album. It's going live. Look at the community tab, and I will post going live right before I do it. All right, guys? See you in roughly, let's say, within an hour to an hour and a half. Okay? See you all soon. Thank you all so much for your support and your continued love of Bolts Bags, Chucky and I. And have a great evening. Talk to you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.